welcome back to the channel. Well, as you guys can see, I have this little RC Bolling review today. This is from DRC. This is a DE, I believe it was the 819. Let's take a look. Yeah, the 819. This is a little beginner's toy speedboat. You can see it's this water spider. It's kind of got the Spider-Man vibe going to it, though it's actually not officially licensed by Marvel, so it's not Spider-Man, but that's kind of what they're going for with this little boat. Now, it's not fancy, as you can see. It's There's no rudder. You've got the kind of bi-directional props. So what you mean by what I mean by that is one prop will spin and the other one won't to steer. So it's not going to be really sharp steering for this little boat with that sort of design. And it's of course dual motors, I believe it's probably, yeah, I think it's probably going to be dual motor, of course, to be able to make one prop or the other one spin. And they're going to be powered off of a one cell lithium ion pack. And you get two of these. They use a red JST plug. I've got one of them in here already charged, and of course give you a second one. So it's just a single cell to power uh, those two motors. And you get a little display stand here. I'll show you, it's all in the packaging. There's a display stand here. You can set this on your shelf and you get your controller in there. And they give you a little um, you know, USB charger and you get some spare props and the nuts here to attach it and a little tool to remove that. Now there's also some LED lights on here that should come on. Now this boat has a safety feature that it's water sensing. So when it's out of the water, it doesn't light up. I've got it plugged in now. So there's no on and off button, you just plug it in. And whenever you give it throttle and it's in the water, it should go. Hopefully those lights come on too. I expect that these couple little, uh, these little metal uh, little contacts, I believe that's what's gonna detect the water and kind of make a complete circuit so that it knows that it is in the, the water and they can safely fire up because if you're a kid and you bump this and you get out of the water you could you know possibly probably not cut up but it really hurt your fingers if it would to do that so here's your controller it takes four double a batteries your on and off switch your trimming here this is a trim if it's pulling left or right you can trim this and here's your source your steering and your throttle it probably has the reverse on it i would imagine and then you have this little, it says channel three, they call it the function button. One press, I believe that's gonna turn the lights on or off. They call it light control. A double click will go between low and high rates. So we gotta make sure we uh, remember to do that. And then a long press will do the, the self riding. So it's going to do some little forward back and stuff. If the boat were to capsize, to flip it over is what the instruction says. So we should be good to go. And I have it all plugged in. Let's just turn on the battery. And hopefully, whenever we uh, toss this in the water here, the boat will start up. I'm going to set it right here. I'm going to sit down here and set this in the water because I want to make sure that this goes. Let's see if my camera's flopping around in my head. Let's just set it down here and see if it goes. Now we got LED lights. See right there, guys? So now it is working. Perfect. And you can see it's not going to be super quick. I can see it's pulling to the right. That actually steers better than I thought it would for having uh, just the uh, uh, different, uh, you know, the props ro uh, alternating which prop is spinning faster. It actually works pretty good. It's not super fast. We are in the lowest rate, but I really uh, am impressed with the steering. Let's do that double click. I think that. Let's try that again. Uh, then we went to lower right, see? So I think it started out in the lowest. Look how slow that is. Let's do a double click again. And now we're in the high rate. So I got my, my kids here and my brother so we can hear them talking in the background. Yeah, it's kind of like a Spider-Man boat. Let me fix my kid. No, it's just a beginner's boat. So it's, it's more for kids. But DRC wanted me to take a look at this and I thought, hey, might, might as well. It actually, you know, it, like I said, it's not fast, but it steers way better than I thought it would. And I actually I kind of like it. It's great for someone, you know, maybe uh, 8 to 12 years old that wants an RC boat like this, but something that's more manageable and easier for them to steer. Overall, I mean, unless, unless you need something super fast, uh, this is much more impressive than I thought. I know it may sound silly considering it's not really quick, but it's not bad at all. One thing you might want to try is the, is the, uh, the self-riding. So let me just bring it over here and see if I can 
bring it up here to the steps. I'm gonna sit down again. Got a lot of camera weight here on my head. So my camera tends to flop around, guys. So if it's flopping all around, I apologize. Let's bring it over here. I upgraded to the Osmo Action 3. It's even heavier. And uh, it really uh, flops around on my head. So what we want to do is put this upside down and try that self-riding mode. So let's just put the boat upside down here. It looks to me like it just wants to self ride There we go. Hopefully we're able to see this. I'm just going to long press. Yeah, and there I put it into self riding. I see it flip. And what it's doing is it's alternating the motors, and that's making a wobbling motion. And then it started going. So you long press, let up, and then it started going into that self riding mode. That worked great. Yeah, this is a great little boat for a kid. And it was you get those pretty cool green and blue LEDs. A quick press of those, let's get it closer here. Should turn those off, and they are off. Well, they're flashing. Maybe it's a different light mode. Let's press it again, and now they're off. So you go between solid, one press, second press flashes, third turns it off. Let's go to the flashing mode. Yeah. I was really skeptical because I tend to avoid these dual prop boats. I went with a rudder. In fact, I kind of like the brushless boats being older, but the brush ones are, are pretty good too. But I, uh, I knew this was, gonna be, was not gonna be fast. But I didn't expect it to steer this well. I really thought with the props uh, spinning different speeds just to steer that this would be big giant circles. You know, big giant circle to steer and it's really doing a much better job. I mean, look at that, that's a, that's a sharp radius. And it has a low voltage warning too. So it will, uh, I expect it'll beep, but I don't plan on driving it until it gets to that point. These boats, you do need to be careful, especially once you've driven them once, get an idea on their drive time, set a timer, and that way you know to bring it in, and that way, uh, it, in case the low voltage doesn't give you adequate time to bring it in, I've had that happen before. Okay, I'm gonna just bring it up here a little closer. I think we're gonna go ahead and end the video because there's not a whole lot else to show you guys with this little boat. I do like it if you're someone looking for a little boat for a kid, but it's not gonna be a boat that a lot of adults would probably want because it's not super fast. So, yeah guys, if you're interested in this little water spider boat from DRC, I doubt it's going to be too much. They were kind enough to send us that review. I'll put a purchase link down in the video description. You guys can see right, it's out of the water. It's totally safe and it won't fire up. So if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing while you're to click that bell. That way you be notified when I do upload new videos. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side,